to an episode of Cooking Chat with Mama Mo. And I'm making a beer again, okay? But I'm gonna go like, we're gonna go show you guys a better way, an easy way that I feel it tastes good and he and Douglas likes it too. So I don't know. Um, I just need a real Mexican here to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so these are the ingredients. So first, to, you know, you got the meat, you got the chili, guajillo, pasilla ancho, white onion, bay leaves, and that's just um, some salt. But um, what kind of meat? Do you eat? Beef chuck roast. He said the guy said it's good. It's called des. Desmillo de res and trozo? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's meat, so that's all they had. But, um, so first, what I'm gonna do right now is boil some water. And once I boil the water, I'll come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do with the water. So, boil about, I'll show you. Boil about a quarter or maybe half a pot of water. So I'm gonna fill this up with water, half a pot of water, boil it up, okay? Be back. So for the first step, um, what's it called? I go off a recipe I read off the line, so don't judge me. So you gotta take some fasilla ancho, and it tells you in the recipe to use three. So, And then for this one, it says to use 10, but I don't use that much because that was just spicy. So I do about eight. So you guys, first you gotta deceive them or whatever you call it, devein them, I don't know. So what I do, I don't know what the fuck is called. Shut up, I'm deveining or deceiving. Okay. Um, while there's a riot outside. So you guys, it's serious what's happening here in LA. Margaret, I come home. So just take all the seeds out, but you know, take as much seeds as you can out. If you can't get all of it out, it's fine. But, see? I'm gonna throw it into a dish. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. For all of this, this one is the same way, you pop it. That. And then you just take all the gunk out. So it's the same thing. You want to take as much seeds as you can out. And like I said, if you leave a little bit because you can't get them, it's fine. Okay, so you have that. And you can so we're going to do that to all this and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. So um, after I just seeded everything, here they are. Uh, kind of weird looking shit though, huh? But they have flavor, man. They're good. Um, so now I'm gonna pour the hot water. So give me a sec. We pour hot water. Enough to fill it where they're all, you know, on top, just like that. So now you let this sit for about 20 minutes and then we'll be back. Oh yeah, by the way, I just wanna give a shout out to all you people in Ecuador, all you people here in the States, Mami Cruz in Ecuador, Narcisa and Duran, Lupe, Lupe and Duran. Um, I don't know, King Alusi and Jordan. I don't know. Well, we'll be back. Welcome back. So, okay, we're just watching the news and what's going on in the, I don't know what's going on with the world no more, but we're gonna get the roast. So here it is, look how pretty it is. I and Douglas hate this shit. I fucking hate that. So right now- It's not I good for a uh, try- Try the glycerize, I don't yeah. know who Dr. Douglas Ray is. So, um, I would love to take this out, but Douglas said keep it. And then when we cook with it, see, I hate fats. 
I uh, used to love fat man. And then um, fat and then when it's like almost done, when we're about to shred it, we could take all the fat out, which I agree with because the fat does give it a little bit of flavor. So, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Tony. I keep going for the fat because it just disgusts me. But like I said, we'll take it out, right? Yeah. Garlic powder. Then we have some pepper. Some salt. Not too much salt. The salt. Okay. Sucks. It's going too much salt. Tap it up. Fry it up. Over this way. Here we go. Beautiful meat. We're gonna brown it. That's what I've been reading on the recipe. I don't know. They say that when you do this, it captures all the juices. But don't do too much because then it won't really roast it. So just do about two, two minutes aside. So let it fry, fry, fry until it's about like, you know, let me see. Just like that. Okay, I will just turn it off right now. You don't want to overcook it, okay? So I turned it off, let it sit there, okay? All right, people, welcome back. So now it's time to make the sauce. I do it simple. I know that the Mexican way is like the real right way, but I don't go off to all those other ingredients because the way I made it the first time was really good. So I'm gonna do it again the way we made it the first time. So, all right. This has been soaked for half an hour, so now it should be soft. See? Okay. You dump it in here. All the sauce. Half an onion. Three or four garlic cloves. And two bay leaves. They say to use this juice, but because if I use it, it'll make it spicy. I'm gonna use just regular water, I'll be back. And you're just gonna pour water, about two cups. Top it up, and hopefully it's not a fail. Liquify it. Open it. Let it liquefy. For about five minutes, let it go, okay? Let it go, let it go, let it go. So when you stop it, I just want to show you guys, look. And it does that and it looks like a, like a cream. You're going to add more water. Let it blend. Now, just to tell you guys, I always like to sneak in a little bit more of an ingredient because I like the flavor. And I always sneak some more onion. Onion is fucking good. What is that onion good for? It brings back memory <laughs> and God knows we need it here in this fucking place. We need as much memory as we can. <laughs> How do you know it's good for memory? Huh? How do you know it's good for memory? Because when I feed you and I ask you questions, you remember. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. So now when it's blended enough, it needs more water, but like I said, I like to let it boil a little bit to see how the consistency of it. Come here, and you pour it over your meat. Turn it on high. You guys, don't throw this away. Fill it up with water, don't. Pour it in there. 
Just fill it up with water so no meat's showing. minutes to an hour. Okay. Okay. And then we can add seasoning and stuff, okay? So, we'll be back. We'll be back to Mama Cookie Chow. Alright guys, welcome back. So I had it boiling for about an hour. So now it's time what I do, because I washed it on a recipe, so don't judge me. I take out the meat. And I start cutting it off. So now I, this is the where I could, I guess, pull the fat off. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Yeah, I see. So I could just make sure there's no fat. But once I do that, see, I, we, we don't like fat, huh, Denny? No. But then I can mm. put it back in. Do you remember how much fat there was here? Good to the dog. No, you gotta clean it first or wash it because then the spice is on it. Okay, so I'll come back. So you gotta do this for the whole meat, okay? Cut him, cut the fat off, place it in the media, in the sauce, okay? So we'll be back when it's ready, when I'm done. Welcome back, guys. So we're at our final steps now in serving our media. So I'm gonna prepare the tortillas. So we have a pan here. I like mine um, burned a little bit. Douglas doesn't like it burned, so that's why we do it on this one. And I'm gonna do a couple, and we'll be right back. Now we're gonna take a piece of meat out. Ah. So we're gonna take the meat out and I'm gonna shred it. We're squeezing lemon, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very clean with my hands, guys. I always clean them, I sanitize. So, trust me, Douglas is a clean freak. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, time to eat, Monique. La Monique, Monica. Mm -hmm. 